That's how he looked as a teenager. Skinny, acne, short. But one thing that you can't see in those photos is my mindset. How I felt about the way that I looked. Insecure, shy, unmotivated. Huge fast forward to today and now I am very comfortable in my own skin. How did I do it? These glow ups that you see online, it's obvious how you get there. Working out, eating good, and staying consistent. That's how the transformation happens. But there are things that I learned throughout the journey, things that I wish I knew as a teen, things that I wish I knew when I was younger. So, dear teens, this is everything you need and everything you should start doing in school. Let's start off with style. This was my first part of the journey, so this is where I recommend where you start off. Granted, that's pretty much the entire basis of this channel. And so if you've ever wondered why I like style so much, it's because of this. Dressing better was the first thing that I started doing to make myself feel better. And this is honestly what changed everything for me. Once I found my own personal style, I felt so much better about the way that I looked and my confidence just started to skyrocket. So dressing better can give you that confidence that you want. When you look good, you feel good. So as a teen, here are the things that you need in your wardrobe and the things that you should avoid. Let's start off there. When I was a teen, I made a few mistakes, so let's go over some of those. First thing I wish I knew earlier was that trends are not the key to dressing better. I like trends to experiment with new things, but just because I see it as a trend doesn't mean I need to pick it up immediately. Definitely does not mean that that's the next thing I need to start wearing in order to dress better. Because if there's one thing that I learned is dressing better does not mean following the trends. Look, some trends just don't fit everybody. And so if you experiment with the trend and you notice, I don't feel confident with this, this does not fit me, then there is no reason why you should force yourself to be wearing that. Especially if it costs a lot of money because the next thing I wish I learned earlier, expensive does not always mean better. Look, I have a big wardrobe now. It's just quite literally because this is what I do for a living. But as somebody who does have a big wardrobe, I can tell you firsthand, a lot of the things that I wish I had, I wish I had them because they were expensive. And I thought that I would be able to impress people because it was expensive. But now that I have these things, I still gravitate a lot towards those affordable pieces. There are plenty of brands out there that sell affordable pieces that look better than expensive brands. You just gotta find what fits your wardrobe, find a new place to shop, and pick up pieces that you feel confident in and it's going to make you look better. That being said, you do not have to dress like everybody else. You do not have to dress like all your friends. Style inspiration can be a great thing, but you shouldn't base your entire style inspiration off of what your friends are wearing. Your entire wardrobe shouldn't look the same as your friends. So the first thing you need to start doing is start looking for new brands that you could try out, you could experiment with, and see if you like. Another thing that I wish I did earlier was wearing more than the color black. I feel like everybody starts off like this. When you want to start dressing better, you think about what do you look good in? Everybody looks good in the color black, but that doesn't mean your entire wardrobe should just be the color black. If you really insist on staying to darker colors, there are other dark colors outside of the color black that are very similar. Dark gray, navy, even something like a dark brown. Start off small, but switching up your colors can definitely help you. And here are some things that I wish I did sooner. Experimenting, thinking for yourself. Now I already talked about that quite a bit, but there are so many things in my wardrobe I didn't think I would look good in until I tried it out for myself. And this next one I struggled with for myself, and that is gonna be thinking for yourself. Don't fall into the hype. Before you're buying something, ask yourself, do I really like this piece or does everybody else like it? The difference is you're gonna be dressing for yourself instead of dressing for other people. Don't dress for validation, only wear the things that you enjoy wearing because you feel like you look good in. Now look, there's plenty of other things that I wish I knew sooner, like tattered clothes doesn't mean you're dressing better. But one thing that I did do right is accessorizing. Granted, the only thing I would wear was a chain, but there are plenty of other accessories I wish I got into sooner. One being is a watch. I am so obsessed with watches to this day. It's something I wish I got into earlier. Accessories have changed my outfits, easily made them look better. So let me know which accessory you're interested in and I'll respond and tell you what's the best place to get that. The next thing we gotta talk about is a before school morning routine. I am so big into hygiene and making sure I do things in the morning to look good. This is something I wish I did sooner, but unfortunately I was a complainer. I don't have enough time in the mornings. Little did I know had I just woken up 30 minutes earlier or even better yet, not spend 20 minutes on your phone as soon as you wake up, I would have had the time that I was complaining about. Develop a solid morning routine, do things that will set you up for your day, make you look better. So if you want an example, here's how my morning routine looks like. First thing I do is wash my face. Now for me, a face wash and moisturizer with an SPF is essential. That's the thing that I'm really big on. SPF moisturizers. Find a quality brand that you like and what fits into your budget. Next, let's talk about breakfast. Now this one depends on your fitness goal. Are you trying to lose weight or are you trying to gain weight? Find some good breakfasts that are easy to make, are suitable for you and you enjoy eating but of course, all this has to fall into what do you want? Do you want to cut or do you want to bulk? We'll talk a little bit more about that later on. Brushing your teeth, grooming in general is very essential. Clean up any facial hair you don't want and a tongue scraper. These are some things that I like to do for grooming and it definitely goes such a long way. Getting a good hairstyle. I like low maintenance, messy hairstyles. And to be fair, that's the easiest things to do in the morning. Can't forget about deodorant and you definitely can't forget about cologne. That's something that I personally got into after high school. Let me tell you, as soon as I bought my first cologne, I realized there is no reason why I should have waited for this. I should have been wearing this a lot sooner. And that's it. It doesn't take long. These are little things that you could do that will make you look better all day 
in school. You can also carry stuff in your backpack that could help you. Extra deodorant, extra cologne, moisturizer, lip balms. There are plenty of little things that you can keep in your backpack just in case you forget something. Maybe you had a busy morning or something comes up and you need a little quick fix. These are the little things that you can carry in your backpack to make sure you are always looking good. So now you know what to do in school or even before school. But let's talk about what you need to do after school. These are the things that I learned that have helped me become more confident, a better person, and just in general, proud of myself. And all these things happened after school. Working out. Now look, I started working out at a young age and I'm very thankful that I did. But one thing that I wish I did sooner was working out the right way. Look, I get it. You want to fill out your shirts. You want to look good in your clothes. That's going to come in time. But one thing you can't do is hit chest, hit arms, hit shoulders every single day thinking that it's going to be the quickest way to fill out your shirts and make you look better. So working out is very important, but you have to start working out the right way. Look, I have a workout program that shows you exactly how to do that. It's going to be linked in the description along with everything else I'm going to be talking about in this video. Now I have two separate ones, one for bulking, one for cutting. So no matter where your fitness goals are, I have something tailored for you. As of lately, I've been pretty proud of my physique and I've been following the cutting workout routine specifically. My workouts have been great. I've been feeling better. I look a lot better in my clothes and it's all thanks to working out. Haircuts. Now I know I'm one to talk because I really need a haircut. That's something that you could do right now that's gonna make you look better than me. If you stay on top of your haircuts, get them when needed, you're going to look a lot better. You're gonna look a lot more cleaned up, a lot more presentable, and overall, you're gonna feel a lot better about yourself. So find a haircut that suits you, keep up with maintenance on that, it's very simple. Another thing that I did right in high school was having white teeth. Now granted, in high school, I had braces, so I waited until after I took off my braces to whiten my teeth, but things like charcoal toothpastes or even Crest whitening strips, these things work fantastic to whiten your teeth, and even to this day, one of the compliments I receive the most is you have a nice smile. Now yes, the braces definitely helped with that, but the main thing that people are drawn into is my white teeth. And that's the reason why my smile always gets compliments. Now, the next thing is going to be learning, looking better, feeling better about yourself. That is very important, but there's still a lot more that you could do if you're trying to get ahead of most guys at your school. Learn as much as you can, set up some goals and work towards those goals, whether it's academic goals, becoming a better student, or maybe you want to become an entrepreneur, whatever it is, it's not going to fall into your lap. You can't sit back and think things are just going to fall into place. You have to set some time aside to work on yourself, whether it's reading books, podcasts, any Anything that you can to, to get some knowledge into the space that you want to get into, that's going to set you apart from 90% of guys at your school. And that is definitely the thing that I wish I did during school as a teenager. I was really big into bettering myself, working out, dressing better, and I'm very thankful that I did that at a young age. But, but fast forward a few years later, I started to get obsessed with reading, looking into podcasts about finance, business, anything that interests me. And I can tell you, I wish I did that at a younger age. So think about what you want to do and think about the things that you could do right now to get ahead. When I say dear teens, these are the things that I wish I told myself at a younger age, but of course I can't do that. The next best thing for me is to tell you someone who is in school, someone who is younger than I am, everything I wish I knew. That being said, if you want an entire video about creating the perfect wardrobe, I have a video that's going to show you exactly that. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.